Okay guys, here we are in a new Minecraft world. We're going to be playing Feed the Beast. <coughs> um, we spawned here in a jungle biome. Looks like Extreme Jungle. So that's one of the new biomes added by uh, the Extreme Biomes pack. Um, but just like always with Feed the Beast, or with Minecraft, you need to get started by just doing the regular things, you know punching wood and whatnot. So, if you're playing Feed the Beast, you already know about all that stuff. I don't really need to tell you about it, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started, and uh, I'll get back with you in a little while. Alright, uh, so I've been playing for a little while. i got a few things set up. Um, i got centrifuge here, and got some villagers. Um, i got a dog outside you can hear. got a bed set up. And so it's just an engine powering this. Um, but I got a few other things set up uh, on the other side of the uh, lake. Hi, Pooch. Hi, Poochie. Uh, put the tower there, you can see. Um, I got a few things going. You can see I got a portal gun and a, a mining laser, so I've been playing for a little while. As you can see, I got quite a few things set up. Just kidding, of course. I mean, there's no way I could have just built all this like in a few seconds. Or what would seem to you like a few seconds, anyway. Um, this is a world that I've had going for a long time. Um, a friend of mine asked me to make a tutorial for him because he started playing Feed the Beast and he doesn't know all the ins and outs yet. So we're going to do that for him. We've already got a few things set up. Um, what we're going to be doing is turning cobblestone into stone bricks automatically. So I'm going to get a few things going. We're going to get stuff uh, thrown over there, and I'm going to show you how to do it all. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, here we are again. I've got everything that I think we're going to need for this project. We've got an electric furnace which is made by crafting an iron furnace which is either a regular furnace with five pieces of iron or just eight pieces of iron like a chest and that's going to give you an iron furnace which you put to redstone an electronic circuit which is made like this um, or you can make it with aluminum or you can use electrum which will give you two and you can also substitute aluminum otherwise you have to use the refined iron <coughs> That'll give you an electric furnace. Oh, uh, I got a few upgrades for it. These are optional. Depending on how you set up your power is basically what you're going to want to do with these. Uh, overclocker, just make it go faster. Three chests, a few Antarctic gates, some red pipe wire, stone transport pipe, wooden pipe, gold transport pipe, and an auto crafting table. So you get all this stuff in our inventory. Oh. And I need uh, one more thing. I need to go get some um, some actual wires, so I can actually power the uh, the electric furnace. Just can go in the door. Okay. Glass fiber cable. Take that. Thank you. Here. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it up to where we have a chest right here. They can dump cobble in, which I have set up down here, and that's gonna pump down to an iron furnace, <coughs> or I'm sorry, an electric furnace. Which, if you don't power it with the uh, low level energy, you have to put a transformer upgrade in there first, and you need to put it in there first before you ever use it. <clears throat> so, we're just going to set those up now. And I'll actually wire it off to the side instead of making it all completely crazy. Okay, perfect. Okay, so it's going to pump down into this, and then it has to pump out of that the wooden pipe. I think 
this guy's in my way. Get out of the way. And we're going to use Autarchic Gate. Pump it into this chest here. And I would say if items in the inventory, energy pulse. And it's going to pump the uh, cobblestone which gets down into this. It's going to pump it over as stone into here. Which then I think an auto crafting table can take it directly from it and put it down there. And we'll need to get, after we get the stone starting to go, we'll be able to set up the auto crafting table. Get another wooden pipe. Target gate. I'm going to go ahead and run this pipe now. torch there. I'll make sure that'll work. Can we put one of these on that? We can. Perfect. Set that up like that. Okay, I can still access it. Let me get some red pipe wire. Run it along this pipe here. And we'll say red pipe signal on, energy pulse, which will pull from the auto crafting table up there. And on this one, we will say. Space and inventory, red pipe signal. And I should turn the red pipe signal on. It does. Which gives that an energy pulse. Okay, we are almost good to go here. We need to set up this one. Uh oh. Okay, we're gonna have to move that. Because that one's to feed into well. They can't feed into it. They can't feed cobble into it, so it'll probably be okay. We'll say if items in inventory, energy pulse. Put that in that way. set up we got power all we need now I believe is to feed a cobblestone so let's put all this stuff up get a bunch of this up, 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 up. as you can see it's already taken from it Numbers going down. It doesn't need to be super quick because this needs to keep up still. Not sure why the image is so small there, but it's going up. One in there. It's four. The auto crafting table 
sucks it out, crafts it into stone bricks, and they get sent up to that chest there. I think though that this isn't keeping up quite as quickly as I need it to. I need to either add a hopper, probably, I think I'm probably going to add some more overclockers, it's probably going to be what I need. I think I have some extras in a machine, let's grab those real quick, throw them in there. Here, two. I'm going to grab those four too, just in case. It's not just in case. Make sure we have enough uh, power so that it can keep up with the flow of cobble. We don't want it to start spilling out. You can end up with a bunch of entities that can uh, potentially see it's already doing it. Potentially crash your game. Bump, bump. <laughs> it's kind of keep it up now. Alright, what I'm probably going to do then is set this up just a little bit differently. I'm going to turn this off. Wow. There we go. Okay, so that's going to pump into here. So. And that's doing just fine. Let's see. Uh... Oh, crafted a button for some reason. That's weird. Uh, but you can see it's turning into the stone bricks here. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have to change these pipes around just a little bit. Just reverse them. Bam. Bam. that we'll say if space and inventory oh we can't because it's not on there yet oop red pipes and it's raining This one will Is it stop raining? No. I don't want the sound off. Animations. There we go. Okay, that should get rid of the rain. It did. Perfect. Okay. If red pipe signal, energy pulse. It's pulling the cobble down. Okay, and we can get that back to... Yeah, that'll be fine. Make sure it works again when this runs out of cobble. Well, there's space in inventory. Is that the only inventory full? Seems like it has to be empty before it'll send the red pipe signal. <clears throat> you can kind of see it there in the background. It's a little translucent, but watch. Three, two, one. Now it's on. It should be fine because the, the cobblestone will get down here pretty quick, but. Seems like it'll only leave it on for like. Well, now there's a bunch of it coming. Well, I guess it's doing fine. It's probably just on my head. But yeah, 
This is a nice little setup. I had a pathway here because I want to close this off, but I still want to have um, ability to come down here and check it out or fix anything that might need fixed. Because uh, it's Minecraft, so that does happen. I grab the rest of this. Um, go ahead and take this back too. It'd be a good idea to upgrade your chests. Right now I'm just using single chests, but I'll upgrade them to like iron or gold or something like that. Um, but then you can just come over here and put like an item frame here or something that has like a piece of cobble. So you know to dump cobble into this chest and maybe put one over here with like um, a stone brick. Or you can use barrels. I like to use barrels, but um... Just know that if you use barrels, you have to t pump into the top of them. Um, otherwise, they'll stop accepting after you get a stack in there. Which, obviously, isn't what you want. Because that's the point of using barrels. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is a little tutorial on how to convert cobblestone into stone bricks automatically. Just a few pieces of machinery. Um... You don't have to use the gates, I just choose to use the gates because they're a lot easier. You can just as easily put a, um, a redstone engine on the wood gate and just have it pumping. It just wouldn't, uh, you'd have to watch it a little bit carefully more. Or you could use a bunch of hoppers because it, the redstone engine just keeps pumping as long as it's on. Um, but if you use these, you can put in different commands, like if they're spacing inventory or something like that. And they do communicate with a lot of different machines. And, uh, but yeah, that's how this all works. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm sure that there's easier, more compact, simpler ways to do it. But this is just a little quick demonstration on how you can. Thanks for watching. Bye.